Yeah. Ladies and goons. And I say that because I feel I may possibly be about to uh, be a goon, in fact, because what I'm going to attempt is, quite frankly, just silly. And uh, I have threatened to do this already. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Do you remember that naked old Fender case uh, that I had? A beautiful case from the ABS actual guitar-shaped ones rather than the square ones, uh, where all the foam inside is just perished and, well, there's very little there. Uh, so, I have some tools and some things to help me do it. I have expanding foam filler and another one just in case the first one goes wrong. I have cling film and another one just in case I run out. A pair of... oh actually no, they're for something else. Um, I've got uh, an old scraper that I'm going to remove all of the horrid insides. Let's make a quick look at what it's like in there. If you have a nervous disposition, turn away. That's it now. I mean, that is evil, is it not? However, mm, without wishing to be a complete goon, what I'm going to do what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick test run. Uh, it's kind of guitar shaped I suppose. I've got a little box that's going to pretend to be the case. Uh, the problem with this is, is that it's curvy and guitars tend not to be. So uh, this is actually a watch maker's tool or watch fixer's guitar uh, tool. Crying out loud tool. Uh, yes and that's about the nearest Thing that I could find that was sort of guitar shaped that would go in the little box. So we're going to have a practice run with this first and see what happens. Okay. Uh, yes, and um, the uh, the other thing that I forgot to mention, of course, when we're getting wrapped in cling film, is that Stratcaster shaped instrument. Uh, so you, I, honestly, you've got as much idea as I have as how this is going to turn out. So I'm going to wrap this as tightly as I possibly can. I'm not going to need much for that, am I? Right, I'm going to wrap that as tightly as I can with cling film. Yeah, it's new to me too. Uh, we think, we think that we're going to cut a bit off there probably. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to line the little box with it. And this is so that should should the guitar case work out okay, which it may or may not, who knows, but you're gonna find out. Um, then what I want to be able to do is to remove the shaped foam so that I can lift it out and then cover it with, you know, whatever is uh, some appropriate, uh, some appropriate lining or covering. So let's get that tucked into the corners as best as we can. Although, as I say, it's only this is just a, a little tryout. Let's see if we can find some scissors and remove a little bit of excess material. Scissors. Blinking scissors that are in this place. There you go. Okay, so we have scissors and spectacles. I may need those. And now, well, I don't know which one to use. Actually, I don't even know how to use them, to be fair. So, I assume that this screws on here. Oh, yes, so it does. No idea how much to use. Oh, should I read the instructions? Instructions. Uh, squirt and hope for the best, it says it. Fill the hole half full. Uh, as post expansion will completely fill the hole. Hmm, okay.
Oof, so, see what happens. If I try and spread that, make it straight. Mm, I'm skeptical about whether this is going to work or not. But we can only try, can't we, is In goes the our guitar. And uh, I suppose now, just leave it and see what happens. Right. Well, may as well show you what I'm doing. Um, but yes, the foam does expand certainly, so I'm scraping a bit off the top and I've cut the lid off the box. I'm going off the idea to be honest with you. Right, and so what I'm going to do is, oh, they it won't fit in, will it, will it, will it? Oh, of course it won't, because it's the same damn size. Right, sniff it off there. And you never know, I may never be able to retrieve the thing that's inside. See what happens. Right, okay. Oh my, that stuff is sticky. So, look, while we're waiting for this to cure, I might never be able to separate the thing. I really don't know. So, we might as well, I suppose, Start uh, removing all the horrible stuff inside here. What I was, my original intention was to sort of repair this as best as I could just using polystyrene. If you're in the States, I think they call it styrofoam. Uh, so, let's just see how easily that comes off or not. This is a little bit sticky, but. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, it feels... I wonder if they use the same kind of thing. Oh, they have some mold, won't they? Hmm. Yes, and that is, in fact, what this is. It, it is, in fact, polystyrene styrofoam. So, yeah, I'm going to remove all this, and I'll show you what happens, or what's happened when I've finished it. Hmm. Well, I've got to tell you that uh, that expanding foam filler seems to take an awful lot longer to cure than I anticipated. And by the way, Brian, if you're watching this and it works, I owe you a pint, mate. All right, uh, here's the interior of our hard case shell. And do you know, that's pretty... Yeah, uh, I'm happy enough, I'm happy enough with that. I'm now going to line it with clean film. Should be fun. Hmm, here it is. So, we're all there, uh, all clean filmed up here. So, uh, that uh, little experimental box that I did uh, is still not cured. So I suppose the next thing is, let's clean film the guitar. So, if you're considering doing something like this, uh, what I would uh, certainly suggest is give it a try first uh, with something smaller and more easily manageable. And also, uh, any material, any surface that you're using for this material, make sure it's something that you can live without because this stuff is evil. Anyway, we've got our Stratocaster shaped guitar, which I'm hoping to review at some point, unless of course I gum the damn thing up with um, with that evil gap filler. So we shall continue encasing this in uh, in cling film. I'm going to get it as tight as I possibly can. So I'll come back to you when that's all wrapped up. So that is as far as I can tell cling filmed to within an inch of its life and if you can see any bits that I've missed please call me on 0800 I haven't got a clue what I'm doing uh, well you know it seems to be fairly well encapsulated and it's all about risk and reward isn't it you see so my risk assessment would go something like this the assumption is is that I'll fill it with foam and perhaps just have to do a little bit of trimming and it'll fit and it'll be absolutely fine the risk is 
but none of the above will happen. Only one way to find out. Hmm. So, this <laughs> seems to have more or less cured now. So, let's take it out and see what happens. Well, it comes out of the box cleanly, which is a very good start. Let's peel this off and see what's happened here. Oh, it's still a little bit sticky. I'm going to have to leave that. So, yeah, if you're going to attempt this, give yourself plenty of time to do it. <sighs> well, here it is in the case. So I suppose, well, let's just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Hmm. So, uh, the little box here, our uh, test box, is, well, basically it's a gooey mess. Uh, and it has taught me absolutely nothing, apart from uh, the stuff on the outside has cured very quickly, or quite quickly, and the stuff on the inside hasn't. And this is just the gloopiest stuff. Look at yeah. So I think that what I'll do is uh, squirt it in. Now, I have left myself a point of reference here, and that's a little bit of the original styrofoam, polystyrene, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I know roughly how thick it needs to be, and I also know that that stuff expands to more or less twice. <sighs> so I'm just gonna go for it. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I happen to find this. So, I, yes, I know. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is before I put the guitar in, I'm gonna leave the filler to semi-cure. And before I put the guitar in, I'm going to squirt that baby oil all over it so that at least it should stop it from adhering so readily. Oh, here it goes. So whilst trying to make sure that uh, I'm not contaminating the camera with this gloopy stuff, which I should imagine will be rather difficult to eliminate. Uh, well, I, uh, now, I ran out of baby oil, <laughs> obviously. So I'm using a bit of fry light, and it is invaluable to have something slippy on the surface uh, which you're using to even out the uh, this gloopy stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let that cure. For actually, that kind of I'm kind of happy with that so far. Uh, God knows how it's going to turn. Oh, bugger. I mean, uh, oh dear. Never mind. Right, I'll give that a clean and uh, sort that area out. Alright, and we'll leave that to cure for a little while. Right, well, it's slightly tacky, but still, uh, I think it'll take a shape or form. So, next thing is, let's squirt this with uh, fry light and plonk it in. Right, we're all lubed up. Let's see what happens. About there. Do we reckon about there? God, I hope this works. Mm. Okay, I might have left that a bit too long. But, well, I'm, no, no, that's all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more uh, of this in to take up the. Actually, I'll give it a bit of a, a bit of a better press. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to fill in the gaps.
and I think I've almost eaten. I'm glad that I got two tins of this because I think I've done this one in in the respect that I've used everything inside it. Mm. Yeah. A bit more down there. Right. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Hmm. So meanwhile, back at the OK Corral, uh, I've removed this from the box and it has left well that's from something else. But it has left the box uh, totally filler free. And th but this is still quite squishy. So I'll just leave this in the open air to uh, cure off a little better. Uh, I'm going to leave the guitar where it is uh, for a bit so that it can hopefully, happily adopt the shape. <sighs> we'll come back to it in a little while. So I've just uh, come back from lunch and quite frankly it doesn't look exactly like I'd like it to but nonetheless let's see what we can do. I'll tell you what, let's try pulling it out and hope that it does. Oh it seems to be attached. No, hang on. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, okay, well there's some kind of shape there I suppose. Uh, well, before I try doing anything else to it, I'm going to film the top with foam and close the lid and keep my fingers crossed. Oh, so, one's a bit droopy. Hmm, so uh, as I said, uh, sorry, uh, as I said, the uh, really the worst that can happen is that because I've clean filmed it all, that uh, I might just have to chuck the bottom bit away and start again. Because I did get this from the, they had this offer at the quid shop. It was actually not a quid, I think it was two quid. But, mm, you know, so let's squirt away and see what happens. Uh, yep. See why it was offered. Oh man, I need absolutely miles more of this. Well, I think that it seems to me that there's going to be a part two uh, because I'd clearly underestimated. Uh, exactly how much of this that I needed and I've no intentions of going anywhere right now so so I'm awfully sorry about that is that, it? Is that the best we can do? ooh I wonder if I've got me in the garage I'm going to have a look. Wow. What are you seeing? I'm almost tempted just to smooth it out and close the lid and just see what happens. I'm going to have a quick look to see if I have any more. Oh, Ooh, it looks like dough. How oh, lovely. But baking, we are not. Oh, let's leave that there. Back in a tick. Mm, sadly, nothing in the garage. So, I've oiled up my 
Um, well, it's a paper stripper, isn't it, you see? And so I'm just going to smooth this out as best that I can. And I am going to close the lid and just see what happens. So it's probably, to be fair, going to be a bit of a fail today. But, you know, if you don't try, you don't know. And who knows, we may never be able to open the case ever again. But, uh, well, it's all clean filmed, I suppose. And uh, at least I can remove it and start again. And I've learned at least uh, that the guitar should have gone in uh, when the goo was much softer. And that I probably needed more uh, material to squirt more of that uh, gap filler. I think that because I rather thought that that stuff, you squirt a little dot in the middle of the room, and if you walked away to make a cup of tea, then by the time you get back, you'd not be able to get in the door because it's expanded so enormously. Well, that's it for today. So thanks all ever so much for tuning in. I'm sorry it was a bit of a disappointment, but uh, I'm getting finished off at some point in this in the coming week, and uh, hopefully I'll show you a better result uh, soon. Adios amigos. Ciao.